It's just like a road built on the middle of the forest. You go there and you die. We don't know what, but you will die. There are definitely bears outside. Look at this nice Airbnb cabin. Oh, we can totally use that as a... Wow. How do we call this thing? Primitive cabin. cabin. Primitive. <laughs> this is glamping. Let me share some of the art that we have over here. Da, 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 da. Wow, this is amazing to just disconnect from the world. Look at this. No one human being. Maybe bears. Maybe a lot of bears. Definitely not humans. All right, we're going to go buy stuff so we can make a big fire there. There is the coffee. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay. Close the back. I close the back. I run. All right, so we are living. Right, let's go. Oh, there is a lot of snow still. So, sadly, we cannot go into the lake to canoe because this is still very icy water. So the host told us not to, because if you fall, then you die. We don't want to die. We survive all this corona. We don't want to die in cold water. Wow, look at this. There's definitely bears here. Ballet parking. Ballet parking. <laughs> All right, we're here in Bangor. High tide restaurant. Really nice views. A lot of good reviews. Lots of seafood and lobster. We're gonna try it. Let's see. But I think we're ready to be minorities here. We don't feel like minorities in New York. We'll, we'll see how the nice residents of Bangor receive this. Um, really? I never felt like I international to people. Here we have the high tide restaurant and bar, and then you can go to the dentist right after. Run, run. High tide across the thing. Not for us. Not today. Not today. Right, no trip is complete to the heartland of America without coming to a Walmart. So let's see how it goes. So I totally forgot my wallet and it has been quite an adventure trying to pay with my phone and just contactless. And Walmart, they don't have it. So I had to get the Walmart app and get the Walmart pay so we could get the campfire equipment. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Donkey Donuts did have it, so close to them. It's American random donkey. All right, I think we're done with our experience here at the Walmart. Time to hit nature again. We're here at the Lake, Lake George on the east side. Um, this trends look intense. The problem is <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> it's like 32 degrees, so. So hold on, amor. Let's look at the trails quickly. Which one do we want to do? Pero there are multiple, amor. Mira, there is a purple one, a red one, and a green one. one. I think red. I think we have to do the red one. Okay, let's try the red one. Woo! That is the look. It's a nice trail. The problem is <laughs> there is definitely bears in here. The dark wood. Dun, dun, dun. I don't wanna. I don't wanna know. <laughs> Let's go to the pinnacle. <laughs> so. Amor, how is this not terrifying? I don't understand. <laughs> Okay, so the rest of the trail is private property, so we have to stay in the trail because the owner doesn't like it. But I guess he kind of liked it because he allowed the trail for randoms to come, right? Anyways, we have to stay on the trail. No bears yet. All right, so we found this tree about to fall. What's the theory? It's the evidence that the bear exists here. 
They yeah. live here. This bear punched this tree mm -hmm. and it almost broke it down. All right, let's go. As we're joking around, we definitely heard something and it really sounded like an animal. <laughs> so we're gonna quietly, but it's speedy, get out of here. Careful, careful, don't fall. Okay. If you never see this video, <laughs> the bear cars. And where is that bear gonna come? <laughs> I want to put you. Amor, do you think who chopped down this tree? Do you think human being? Bear. Maybe a bear. It's a bear. I told you there are a lot of bears. Oh, wow. Ah, so you can bring your canoe this way. Yeah, you have to bring the canoe Perfect. this way. It's not even far. <laughs> it's only us, Samu. If something happens, it's Then we die. <laughs> if we fall, we die. Okay. <laughs> I can see, you can see. It's just going to be a little cold. <laughs> it's frozen though. How is this not terrifying? Wow, super cool. So we tried to grab some of those dry wood, but then the city boy just literally got it entirely inside my finger. And then little operation in do, and now I'm bleeding. You took it out like... Come on. Ah. I go. I that was bad. Ah, now all my shoes are wet. I know. This is a problem with the YouTuber. Be careful, okay? <laughs> if you only focus on your camera. It's a problem. Uy, puta. Chincha. Bueno, this jacket is good for bears because they get scared because it's like, whoa, big orange guy. Oh. <laughs> big delivery guy over here. <laughs> Delivering the goods. <laughs> Nice little cabin. I think this is the prettiest cabin of the entire neighborhood. Yeah. I have to say, we have some colorful neighbors <laughs> around here. Hi, my name is Luis Vega, and this is Making a Fire. Da -na -na. So, first you make a little house where you leave enough space on the bottom to have the real fire, the power to come up and you know, incinerate everything. So, we have what we call the fire starter down here. And all I have to do is turn that baby on. Here we go. I think, Amor, you shouldn't do it. You're, that's dangerous. You shouldn't touch that part. Amor, don't touch the head. Okay, this guy cannot even make a light from the mesh. Okay, let's try it again. You don't know how to do it, Amor. Don't touch the head. Okay. All right, so that one fell. And it's burning a leaf, which is a good start, but that's not what we need. Okay, here we go. So that one almost got the fire started. So now the third one is really when you make the impact. That might make it. No, don't touch the head. Are you crazy? Amor, don't that touch the head. Do it. No, you don't need to. Okay. Ah, so smart. Ah, he's really stubborn. Okay, okay. Alan. Okay, the master is coming. Feel no, 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 got it, got it. Look, I got the fire started. You can see here from the match slowly gets the fire starter liquid and now the fire starts it's a starting still not that exciting but we're very excited because we know that we hit it big time look at that you can see the fire is getting really intense the Ooh, with the grape way. grape juice where's my grape juice let me give you a little close down over here oh yeah that's right Ah, the lake, the trees, the fire, the bears. You really gotta watch out with the bears. The fire is hungry now. Wow, your wood like completely... It's gonna take a long time for that to burn. That's awesome. Yeah, that fire. That is... It's gonna be hours here. All right, so the rumor is that you get the sweet potatoes in foil and put them in the middle of the fire and I think they're gonna be good. Wow, that's really interesting. Well, let's see. All right, so I got a little cold, so we're gonna monitor the fire right here. 
from the cabin. Sweet for dinner! Still fire going on! Hello! Right, sweet potato experiment. <laughs> this sweet potato has been hanging out with the fire for hours now. Now the question is, are they good? It's not even hot. Not hot. Not hot is not a good sign. Oh, oh it's done. It's good? <gasps> Look. Okay, let's open it up. Oh, the mark. Oh, wow, it's really good. <gasps> Look at that yellow. It's hot. Be careful. Are you going to bite it just like that, or what are you going to do? Yeah, you just bite it like that. Okay. <laughs> Miren, Miren <laughs> seguidores. Los seguidores? Los? Los seguidores, sí. Look, you just eat like this, it's super. <gasps> wow, amor, it worked. It works. How did it not burn, like, in the middle of that fire? Okay. A little bite. A little bite is fine. Oh, a bit hot. Ow, ow, ow. Pepper? It's very good. It's really, really good, but... Really good. Ow. Uh, I'm always too hot. <laughs> he cannot take the hot temperature. The baby. So good, no? It's really good. It's super good. But if, like if you bite it straight, you burn. Yeah, you have to do. Look at this potato. Oh yeah, vegans, enjoy. Boom. Finally, we're enjoying some vegan stuff in this channel. Whoa. Day number two or three of making five. No, two of making five. We have learned a lot from the past. Today, we're using technology. Okay, here we go. We need to put woods more to this side. Yeah. Like a little okay. cave, right? There you go. Okay. Do we put chocolate? Let's put the chocolate. We call this thing chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. Today is really cold. This is why the bears are not here today. It's because it's really cold. Bear, bear. Hey, bear. I'm going to teach you how to not get bears later. He's very afraid of bear. Everybody should be. Why is this so close? Okay, see you. Okay, see you. Now we're going to have the morning coffee by the fire, the lake, and maybe the bears. After having a near bear encounter at the mountains, when we heard something, we discovered that we weren't ready to tackle it in the case that we, the black bear really hits us. So we look it up and first of all, Maine has the most amount of black bears in the lower 48 states, meaning Alaska probably has more. But that's a big deal. So what to do if you encounter a black bear? The first thing is you do not approach the bear and you quickly back away, back away, back away, and then you leave, that's it. Now. What happens if the bear approaches you? Things are gonna get rowdy here. So the first thing is that you have to go to your arms big like this, to, so that you look bigger for the bear, and then just start doing, hey bear, hey bear, hey bear, and then like, back off, back off and slowly, hey bear, hey bear, and then maybe moving the hands. Now, what if the, the, the bear could leave, but if the bear starts following you, you have to stay together with your group. By the way, they say you always need to go together in camping and hiking, all of this, otherwise the bear just kill. Anyway, stay together with your group. Do not run. The most important thing is do not run. The bear will run faster than you and kill you. So do not run. Continue to back away. Hey bear, hey bear, hey bear, hey bear. Now, if the bear continues to follow you, stand your ground, never leave, just stand your ground. Dun, 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 dun. Stay together. Now you have to intimidate it by making it looker, like bigger and louder. But hey, bear! At this point, you just, you're losing. So at this point, you might wanna go, Kame, Kame, ha! Like really scared the bear. This is bad. Shout, clap, woo! I start doing jumping jacks. You might, you might curse, you might curse. You might have a sensitive bear. And clap, bang, stick, everything you have. Now, if, it, if the bear goes and attacks you, then just stand your ground, remain calm, get your pepper spray and spray the bear. If you don't have pepper spray, well, tough luck. If the bear touches you, here, according to the main.gov website, prepare to fight with anything, hands, knife, sticks, rocks, binoculars, backpack, or by kicking. And at this point, you just need to, I guess, be stronger than the bear and don't die. So anyways, the lesson is bring the pepper spray, be with people 
and be ready because although it's low probability, but it could happen, you could have a bear encounter. I'm glad that we didn't. We were very close to, very close to here, this experience. Okay, bye. Okay, see you. Okay, see you. <laughs>